there and welcome to a review of Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. It was published a few years ago but I just read it last month and I was actually surprised at how much I didn't like this book because it was hyped up so much and everybody just had so many great things to say about it. So here is my two star review of Life After Life. It's a thick book. So the author, Kate Atkinson, really has a beautiful way of writing. Her style is very descriptive, which I loved. I loved her style of writing. And as a fan of reading about World War II, I was really impressed at the amount of research that went into this book. I mean, to know the different times of the bombings in England and the inner workings of the ministries, it was awesome and I learned a lot of new stuff about this time period. So the story centers around Ursula Todd who's the main character and with her when she dies she comes back to life and it kind of creates all of these different worlds. I, would, I don't know if they're really parallel worlds but she kind of goes back in time a little bit to so she can change what happened to that, so she can change the circumstances around her death and continue to live. And so throughout the story, we're not really sure what is happening and what to believe or who to trust. Ursula is an unreliable narrator. Many times she is, you know, seen with a psychiatrist or at a sanatorium. She relives segments of her life over and over again, but she doesn't truly remember any of it at all. And there are t there are certain glimpses of her maybe remembering, but it doesn't affect the story at all. It's there's no continuity with her re life reliving, and we're kind of left w wondering, you know, is this all in her head? Is Ursula Todd? Cry, cry Is she crazy? I didn't connect with a single character in this book. Though Atkinson wrote a lot of really strong characters, there are a lot of characters in this book, there are just too many side additional characters outside of the Todd family, and those side characters took away from the actual plot when Ursula went back and was reliving a part of her life. Some of the side characters had really vague descriptions, but then would come back in a relived part of Ursula's life, and you kind of had to remember who that person was based on the color of their hair and the style of clothes that they wear, for instance. And it was just not my cup of tea. <laughs> it was just not something that... I enjoyed being able to do because I couldn't do it. There are some times that I just I couldn't remember who Kate Atkinson was talking about in the book. I also really hated that there was no rhyme or reason as to why Ursula relives her life over and over again, but it's only the circumstances that around her death that she's able to change and sometimes it's hinted that Maybe Ursula's mom, Sylvie, has the same power. The whole reliving the lives over and over again is a really strange concept, and Kate Atkinson handles it really well in the book, but I think the concept is never fully developed. I think if maybe there was some sort of explanation behind this strange power, the book would be stronger. I also didn't like that there's seemingly no end to the story. Ursula at some point begins to recognize her relived lives as bouts of deja vu and though she tries to prevent Bridget from bringing the influenza into the house when they're when they are kids and this happens about six times um, and she comes up with a plan to kill Hitler which is never fully fleshed out in the book which drove me nuts and those are really the only times that we see Ursula maybe taking charge of her life and changing the circumstances around death. 
and none of the storylines in the book are permanent. Everything's changing numerous times and they all repeat and even the really tedious ones like trying to present the influenza coming into the house we repeat that's repeated six times so we reread the same little blit of the story six times it gets boring i don't want to read the same thing about ursula pushing pushing bridget down the stairs six times and I'm just left with questions. How are the family members affected by the rebirth of Ursula? Can Ursula only stop the life after life cycle by her own hand like Sylvie did? The book didn't really seem to have a point. So once again, Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I'd love to hear what you think about this story, especially if you've read it. It's been out like, for a few years now. So if you have any things that you want to say, Leave it below in the comments. Thanks for watching.